This is called a confirm box and it is created using the PyAutoD library. I created by just calling one function, the function confirm. With this function, you can create a box with the number of buttons you want with the messages you want. To install the library, simply run pip install PyAutoD. I use this box and the other box to create a trivia game. The principle is simple. Here we have a confirm box that contains a question and different options. The user click on an option and an alert box is displayed to indicate whether the answer is wrong or correct. At the end, an alert box will be shown to indicate the number or the score that the user got. Now, to write the code, first I will have to import the PyAutoGui library. Then, I will create two lists. The first one will contain the questions, and the second one will contain the options with the correct answer. Of course, the order of the questions must correspond to the order of the available options. Lists of available options can have different sizes. Now to display the boxes, I will simply have to look to the questions list. To do that, I'm going to use the for loop. And also, I'm going to use the enumerate function. So this, this way, I will have the elements of the list plus the index of each element from that list. To recreate the answer given by the user, I will use the variable answer that will receive the return value from the call of the confirm function from the PyAutoGui module. I will define three parameters. The first one would be the title. It will be equal to the word question, followed by the number of the question. To get the number of the question, I will just call the str function with the parameter i, the index of each question, plus 1, since the indexes will start with 0. Then I will have to set the message itself in the attribute text. The question is the message, so I will assign to it simply the variable e. Lastly, the buttons. To define the number of buttons, I will have simply to set the corresponding messages. Here the messages are available in the options list. Each question at index i will have the corresponding options at the same index, but I don't need all the answers or all the options since the last option is the correct answer. So this is why I will use this slice to indicate that I don't want the last element. I can try now to execute our code. Here I'm giving the answer, but nothing happens since we just recreate the answers and not the ones. Now what we have to do is to compare each return value with the correct answer. If they are equal, an alert box will be displayed indicating that the answer is correct and the score of the user will be incremented by 1. If the answer is wrong, a different alert box will be displayed. So here we compare the answer with the correct answer. The correct answer is available also in the options list at index y, but the element, the exact position of the element is at the last element. This is why we are going to use minus 1. Now we call alert box to indicate that this is the correct answer since the return value and the correct answer are equal. We can set a the title to a happy emoji. The message or the text saying correct. And that's it. Now for the wrong answer, if the answer is wrong, we simply play an alert box indicating that the answer was wrong. That simply I will change the title with the slightly sad emoji and the text with the word wrong. But now we also have to calculate the score of the user. To do that, we will use a variable score initialized to zero. And each time the user gets the correct answer, 
we will implement the score with by one. Now, to indicate that the indicated score is a left box, but this time the title will be another image indicating the end of the tibia game and the position or the value of the score. The text attribute will have this value. The text attribute will have this value. Um, score or your score followed by the value of the score. Again, converted to same using the function. Now we can test our TV again. With multiple types of answer. This is a fair answer. This is also fair answer. We will give a wrong answer. And another fair answer. So now we must have a score equal to 4. Add 3. Thank you for watching. Can see you in the next video. Bye.